Hello and welcome. So today I have a circle trading route for you. We're going to be starting and ending in Microtech. Flying out to two of its moons, Uterp and Clio. It involves six stops and also six different commodities. This isn't just going out and buying the most expensive commodity you can find. This is a full trader's route and for me the real cargo movers gameplay. So I'm going to go over the route in detail and where you can change it for your own personal preferences. But to keep the video shorter, the gameplay I'm going to show you is just from the last three stops. I hope you enjoy and find it useful, so let's get started. So the full route. So you're going to start a new Babbage on Microtech. And no matter what size ship you're using, you're going to fill it with scrap. You're going to fly that out to Uterp to delve in scrap and salvage and sell it all. And then on the same moon, you're going to fly across to Bud's Growery and you're going to buy distilled spirits. Now anywhere other than cities will only buy a maximum of 160 distilled spirits at any time. So depending on what size ship you've got, you want to make sure you're not going to buy too many. If you're in something like the Cat or the C2, you can fill the rest of your ship up with processed food. Now you're going to fly across to your second moon, Cleo to Riari Campwell. At this location, if you've got any of the processed food, you're going to sell it all there. You're going to sell some more distilled spirits and buy as much fluorine as you can. Then staying on Cleo, you're going to fly across to Riari Magarth, where you're going to sell all of your fluorine, some more distilled spirits and buy some meds and stims. Now anywhere other than cities will only take a maximum of 50 meds and 50 stims at one time. So as we've only got one more stop before we hit a city, you only want to buy 50 of each. Now we head back to Microtech, to Shubin Mining Facility SMO10. So now you want to sell all of your meds, all of your stims, and all of your distilled spirits. Some of the locations will be oversold, so sometimes you'll hit this last location with a few more distilled spirits than you wanted to. That's not really a problem, but it just means this last stop is going to be a little less profit than you expected. If you're lucky enough to have an empty hold, you want to fill up with barrel. If not, just buy as much as you can. And then we're flying back to New Babbage on Microtech to sell everything. Now New Babbage isn't the most profitable place to be selling barrel. You can get a lot more for it if you fly down to Orison and Crusader. But for me, I just like doing this small little circle and still making well over 200k. If you did take it down to Orison, you could bump that up to 400. So if you're really after the money, that's a good one to do. But quite honestly, if the money is the only thing you're interested in, then there are far better routes than this. If you take a look at my previous video, you're going to be making well over a million per run on that one. It's a lot more risky, it only involves one stop. But today's video, I just wanted to show you the kind of routes that I do 90% of the time. You know, and as you can see from this, and also any other videos I've done, I do it in a variety of ships. It's not all about just flying that C2. Even though it can carry the most and it's really fast and efficient, it's not always about that. The reason I like the trader's game loop so much is you can do it any way you want. You know, you can be flying something as small as the Titan or the Cutty Black and still be having fun. And for me, that's what it's all about. I think if you're only looking at what can make you the most money in game, then you're going to be missing a hell of a lot. Pick a ship that puts a smile on your face and do the things that make you happy. And for me, making a route with lots of different commodities, carrying multiple at any one time, going to lots of different stops and taking lots of screenshots, that's what I like to do. You know, some days I do like things a little bit more action packed, so I'll jump in the Inferno, do, go and do some ERTs, but for the most of the time, I just put my feet up, make a nice drink and move some cargo. So here we are on our last stop before we head back to New Babbage. And this is the money earner. So ideally you want to be left with 160 distilled spirits, 50 meds and 50 stims when you hit this spot. And then you can sell it all and get a nice empty cargo hold. Unfortunately, on this run for me, I didn't manage to sell the full 160 distilled spirits every stop, so I'm left with a few extra. You know, it's not a problem. New Babbage will buy them from me. But ideally, all you want in your hold for this last part of the run is barrel. That's the big money earner for this route. Now you have a choice. You can take it back to New Babbage, finish the circle and start again. Or you can run it down to Orison. Like I said before, you're going to be making nearly double your money. You know, on that part of the route, that's entirely up to you what you do. 
You can run it down there, buy scrap and come back, or even start a new circle over around Orison. So back to New Babbage. Now at this part of the trip, a little bit risky. On the moons you only got to climb to around 2000 and you can jump. On Microteca Planet you got to get to 10,000 and in the cat that can take some time. So keep your eyes on the skies, make sure everything's nice and clear and don't take any chances. Oh, I don't think that door, I don't think that door is supposed to be open. Good old star citizen. Make sure you lock in that location before you take off. The last thing you want to be doing is getting caught in the sky and you're still trying to lock in your jump point. And here we are, new Babbage. Circles almost complete. And as always, I don't like train rides. So you just land straight at the commons, just like all these other ships. Walk through a door, then you can go and sell your commodities. You know, I'm not saying your ship is perfectly safe here. There are a few little bugs and exploits which are still allowing people to enter your ships, even in an armistice zone. So if you're more comfortable going to the spaceport, yeah, just please do that. It's entirely up to you. But quite honestly, at this point in the game, when my bank is full, I'll happily lose a million <laughs> to not take a train ride. Now I believe one of the next patches is going to stop us skipping the train at Lawville. Not sure if that is the same at New Babbage. But if it is, I'm going to miss this little area. It shaves so much time off your roots. And as always, make sure you close your ship behind you. It might sound boring to just sit there, waiting for someone to leave their door open, but people do do it. The last thing you want to do is get inside and find out your ship's already gone. Looks like someone's coming out to visit me. No, don't do it, don't do it. Oh. I thought he was coming straight for me then. I wonder which ship's his. Or he could actually possibly use that to break into my ship. So let's quickly get to the terminal and sell. So if you've not been before... Well that door's supposed to be closed. Yeah, if you've not been here before, just head through these two doors. Down this short corridor and up to an elevator. That'll bring you right out of the commons and you can miss out on that train ride. You know, this is my favourite route. Mixing commodities, lots of stops. But to be honest, I'd be interested to know what you like to run. You know, do you go for the maximum profit? Are you just running that one commodity back and forth through a city? Or do you like to link commodities like me? You know, and we've got a big update coming which is just going to change cargo running completely. My favourite ship, the Carrick. It's going to be stuck in its hangar for a while, so not looking forward to that part. But everything else, I can't wait. I honestly think it's going to change everything about cargo moving for the better. And it could possibly mean no more solo runs. You know, us cargo movers might need that crew. So if you enjoy the routes that I've been posting, then maybe it's time we team up and make some profits together. Right then, let's get to this terminal, get the commodities sold and we can finish the video. I've tried to make it as short as I could, but there is a few things I wanted to say in this one. Again, not working. Good old Star Citizen. Okay, so sell all the distilled spirits. That's gone. That could have been an extra 148 barrel. Never mind. Now we can sell all of our... That doesn't seem right. It's a bit odd. Hmm. 
Okay, I've not seen this one before. So cell 8, and it's got 12. Okay, I'll keep going, as long as I get my money. I could be here all night. Okay, we're empty. Not seen that one before at all. Always the nice new bugs in Star Citizen. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. As always, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel. I really do appreciate your support. You take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.